welcome to my channel guys this is Sam and I am playing Metro Exodus the last part is working Duke uh, sacrificed we left Volga behind and, uh, the endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now regretfully Duke was not destined to see them was his death a fault of mine? was everything that happened on the bridge it could be it's a cruel world that we live in and it's not our responsibility to fix it we only wanted to pass through and it was not my fault they screamed for blood their zealousness reminded me of the metro where people are indoctrinated into a lie that the world is dead and there's nowhere to go anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie that the war is still going on here it's Electricity is a sin. Same difference, really. So, we are on the train now. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. Why you got a girl's name, man? I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her. Proudly wearing scars and medals. Well, you died because of me. No. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. I should not. Facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder it'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. It's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Duke's plate guyer didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he... Well, he just kept joking about it. <clears throat> what was I? Well, I'll be working here from now on. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Come on in and have a seat. 
Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. We are playing the guitar now. Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry to ask, Katja, but Nostra's father, he's dead, isn't he? Does Nostra know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. So, guys, the Duke's memory. Hey, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Ah, the funeral! Did this Duke we are talking about? Do you recall how he came back from the library? Same thing here! Well, yeah, that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. Was a good speech, too. Thanks. Well, that is true. Don't be shy. So, Sam ends his speech, and then Duke asks, Where's my drink? <laughs> <laughs> So that is why I say we should wait. He came back from that library. It is morning. You should cry, Mom. You should cry. Let's see. So you're back. What other plans does our leader have in store? Wait, don't tell me. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, with your radio. Did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. So, you think I should just let it all out? I don't think that would make me feel better. I've been thinking, back home, we buried our friends at home, and avenged them at home. That home and life there sucked. We were kept there with chains, no, even worse, with lies. And now we are looking for a new home. But here, it's someone else's home, and we are not invited. I've got to get myself under control. Go. Dad wanted to see you. I can see the big Uncle Dokarev! Uncle Dokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Dokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle and I use a sailor stitch. Oh, it's oh, good. Can you That's me? good. <sighs> oh, this is one means four. Damn, this is rough. Well, <laughs> nothing I couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you're the right kind of guys. You, the Congo, Duke, that guy did the swell job on that bridge. He was a great guy. May he rest in peace. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. you. You people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? 
So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sam's rifle strap. So I cried and cried. It's relief to go back. No, come on! Oh, that's it. the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Okay, let me check. Completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. 
Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Okay, so we are in Yamanta Bogus. Colonel. With the train. It's dangerous outside. 
Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Stuck or something. No. I'm getting this man. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Ridiculous. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. 
<laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You are right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Says, Occupy the place. Oh my, man. We got captured. By a fool. I'm gonna kill every last one. What the? Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, Ludi John is like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of I'll hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! When I get you ready, burn this job to ashes! So I don't even have dirty bullets! Now we'll be full again! Good.
like to sell. Oh man. Second pounds and also and the bullet pounds. Right. I'm just picking up bullets. I don't know where.
we are storing uh, people's heads.
You bastard! from 